Kelly is five feet tall and has a shadow that is three feet long. This tree has a shadow that is 7.5 feet long. Can you figure out how tall the tree is? To figure this out, we're going to have to use proportions and indirect measurement. Now let's break down the problem so that we can solve it. First, let's think about what we're comparing in this problem. We're comparing Kelly's height to Kelly's shadow and the tree's height to the tree's shadow. Notice that we've set up a proportion. Now we can substitute the values that we know and solve for the tree's height. We can cross multiply to solve this proportion. 3x equals 37.5 x equals 12.5 feet. This is the height of the tree. Here's another problem a lot like the one we just looked at with the tree. Here we have the height of a person and the shadow and the shadow of a flagpole. So again, let's set up a proportion. We have the unknown flagpole's height to its shadow and we have the man's height to his shadow. Here's our proportion. Now we can cross multiply and solve. 4.5x equals 90. We divide both sides by 4.5 and x is equal to 20 feet. The height of the flagpole is 20 feet. Again, we use proportions to solve this problem. Here's a scale from a map. A scale is also a method of using indirect measurement in proportions. If you have a scale on a map, you can use it for problem solving. Let's use this first one, which is one inch is equal to one mile. Take a look at the next problem. If one inch is equal to one mile, how many inches is eight miles? That's our unknown. You can probably solve this one in your head, but let's write a proportion. One inch is equal to one mile. We don't know how many inches, but we know that we want to figure out how many inches is for eight miles. Now, we can solve the proportion. And our answer is eight inches. Let's take a look at one more using the same scale. If one inch equals one mile, how many miles is 3.5 inches? Let's write a proportion. Cross multiply and solve. Our answer is 3.5 miles.